hi and welcome back to my channel my name is amanda i'm very happy that you're here i uh, make videos on like luxury and nordic uh, design and clothing and if that's something that is interesting for you i put out videos every thursday and sunday and i just do this like whole youtube thing because i think it's fun to like make videos and have a chat with people so um yeah please like yeah if if, if this is something for you just consider subscribing and uh, i would love to see you again uh anyways today i am going to talk about my favorites during june um so these are like my june favorites i remember when i was like in my late teens and early 20s that youtubers did these kind of favorites videos and i always thought they were quite fun to watch so yeah i thought why not do do one here as well so there's some beauty items some clothing items some like i don't know general <laughs> items or things that i've done or seen during this month that i would uh, share with you so let us start with some beauty things i have a few things here for you i thought i would just share <laughs> like a staple of mine which is dry shampoo this one tastes it like smells like green apple. It's really nice. It's a Swedish um, hair brand as well, and I think it actually works fine. It doesn't leave any like white stuff in your hair when you use it because that's usually like a problem. Otherwise, I also have used uh, a brand called Ida Valley for their dry shampoo, and I like that one as well. Uh, but I just want for, wanted to show it. I have another Swedish um, beauty brand for you. And I use this brand a lot called Estelle Thald. It's uh, vegan and organic uh, for at least I think the most part. Vegan at, at, like for every part, but organic for most part. I really like this. It's the Nourishing Night Cream and it's very quite thick and it stays on your skin. And I feel quite moisturized afterwards. And my partner is very dry um, in his skin as well. And he uses this and that works for him as well. So I just want to show it. And then this is a new brand for me and a brand I wanted to try for a very long time. It's called Woods Copenhagen. And this is their sunscreen. And I really like this sunscreen. It sets nice on the skin. You know, it doesn't leave you any like white things. I use sunscreen every day. So for me, it's very important. Um, and I haven't like at least burned myself in the face using this one. Um, so I think that one really helps. And usually I use a hat <laughs> too. And this one is from Woodswood. Uh, which isn't the same brand from uh, as the Woods Copenhagen, but this is called Woodward. Um, and this one is like in Manchester. Um, that's how you call it in Manchester fabric. Is it called that in English? I've forgotten what it's called. It's probably not Manchester. But anyways, that's what we call it here. Um, I really like this cap. It's super expensive nowadays. <laughs> I don't know why, but they have really put up the prices. I just went and checked uh, like how much the regular like cotton cap was, and it used to be uh, around 50 euros, and now it's around 90 euros, uh, like all of a sudden. So I don't know why they've done that. But anyways, let's move on with some more beauty items. This is a lipstick from RMS, and I probably heard about RMS from uh, Emma. No, I forgot her name. Emma Watson. Uh, that's like one of her favorite brands, I think. And this is a light, very light lipstick or a lip balm actually. And it has some color to it. And I think it's so nice. It just, it gives you sort of a pop of color, but it looks very natural. It doesn't look like you have lipstick on. And it does moisturize your lips at least a little bit. Perhaps if you want more moisturizer to the lips, that other like true lip balms for it but I think this works really well to put in your handbag just to uh, yeah have some color on your lips but also to yeah if you have dry lips at some point it, I think it works fine and then finally when it comes to beauty I have a fragrance and this is Hermes and it's the rhubarb fragrance and this smells like so summery and so lovely it's a very 
it's a very special smell like you I have not smelled anything like this before this is from their like travel set and I would really recommend the travel set I got it for Christmas I actually bought it myself for, for to myself for Christmas <laughs> but it's it's a really good travel set uh, but this like smells so nicely and very sort of I don't know how to describe the smell it's it's it smells like rhubarb if you if you know rhubarb it smells sweet but also a bit soury that's just how this smells and it's it's very nice so those are the beauty items um when it comes to fashion i just show you the the hat um which i used a lot like the cap uh, also another favorite of mine and I feel like I'm cheating a little bit because I, I literally just got it and I haven't even washed it yet but I know it's gonna be a favorite of mine and it's this dress and it's from Totem and I showed you that one in a previous haul of mine and it's just it's so it's so nice I just love how it fits and I love the color on me actually uh, as I said in that haul I have it in white and black since before like since a year ago and it just I just really love this dress so i can totally recommend that one as well and also for fashion i have these sneakers which are the vea sneakers and i will put in here exactly what style this is these ones are in complete leather i've had since before ones that are in fabric and suede and a little bit leather and i think these were a little bit uh, nicer the reason why I think they were a little bit nicer now, look, they look what trash when I look at them. I just need to clean them a bit, but it's more easy to clean the leather and to whiten it when you have uh, leather. Uh, but yeah, definitely need them a clean. But for me, they're very comfortable. The tongue of the shoe, I have cut off because that one is just way too high for it normally so if that's something that bothers you when you try them on you feel like it's cutting in the tongue is cutting in your foot just remember that you can cut it off because it's just a piece of leather and finally when it comes to fashion i have my favorite and i feel like i've shown you this bag so much on this channel but i just love this bag um in my first video i ever did i said that I had been thinking about buying this bag for years and and I think because I had been thinking about this bag for years I'm just so happy to have it but it's also a great summer bag it fits a pair of sunglasses it fits your at least my phone it fits you know a wallet some little bit like the the lipstick for example you can fit quite a bit in in here even though it's it's small and tiny and cute and the color is so nice like the colors in a sand sort of neutral beige, I would say perhaps a little bit more to the to the cool tone, but it does have some golden accessories. So I feel like it's more neutral rather than cool or warm, um, which makes it that it, it it sort of works with a lot of um, a lot of other colors. So I love this bag. I think it's great. So when it comes to home interior. I'm a huge fan of home interior and I'm especially a huge fan of of Marmeco. That's my like favorite brand. And I just thought I would show you because I I saw this in the boutique here in Sweden and I like fall in love. I just needed to have it. Um and it's a it's a, <laughs> it's a I don't even know what it's called, like a plate. But I use it for just putting some things on. I don't actually use it for like a plate. Um, and it's in the Tilskivi uh, um, pattern in this green. And it's it just looks so nice. Like the green on this, and this is new in by the way, the green on this is just perfect. It's very, it's that sort of, I think it's quite trendy green. Uh, it reminds me of the green on a lot of like the lamps called from Anne Tradition. I will put in some pictures of, of those as well. Uh, but it's just, oh, it's so nice. Um, and if you're interested in Marmeco, they do have a sale on at the moment as well. I try to sort of <laughs> save money. <laughs> so I try to not look too much into that. 
Uh, when it comes to other things, so I thought I would share my favorite YouTube video of the month. Um, and it's a YouTube video I watch from DW Doc Documentaries. And by the way, if you haven't checked that channel out, it's, I think it's a um, German state television. At least it's a German television. Um, and they do a lot of really good documentaries. I think the ones with the fast fashion are very, very good. The one I watched this month was, was on um, the plastic waste of Coca-Cola and the fact that they don't like properly recycle uh, the bottles. Um, and I thought it was a really good documentary and something that I think everyone should think about. I personally love drinking Coca-Cola and I don't think it's up to the consumer because what they try to do is they say oh it's your fault you're the consumer you should recycle it but really they have the means and the possibility to make sure that uh, one you can recycle and two to make things uh, or like bottles that are from glass or from other type of multi-use um, plastic so it's not up to the consumer or that, well, we should do that as well, but like, it's also up to the companies to make sure that their um, environmental impact is handled. And um, yeah, so I just thought that was a really good documentary. Yeah. And then another favorite thing I did this month uh, was going to Schoen or August. And um, I personally went to Klaus Holmen. This is a perfect tip for anyone who is interested in going to Sweden that a lot of the archipelago on the west coast are absolutely like they're stunning and I even saw some tourists which I've never done before I've never seen like international tourists going to these places but they you totally should they're very beautiful and very unique I think sort of world unique actually um, there's lots of archipelago out there and very cute villages with Sort of white houses on it and um, yeah it's something I enjoyed very much so uh, I will insert some footage here for you uh, so that you can see as well so that's it for me I hope you enjoyed this video this was like just very light and easy kind of video and um, yeah uh, that's it I hope to see you in the next one goodbye